Word was established to try and get it to, like thinking young people develop personalities and develop their knowledge of wine and it was a, a camaraderie and a, an expression which expanded very quickly and uh, we are very proud after 30 years to be where we are at today. Yes, I think for a member to, to join, one looks at his track record and, and specifically there's a requirement where he has to be involved and been making quality wine for at least five years and through this we also take a close look at the performance of, of the winemaker and his wines in competitions locally as well as internationally and also uh, at the stature of the, the person and the contribution made to the industry. One of the reasons why the Guild started was hosting you know, themed technical tastings uh, practically once a month. You're getting to taste wines that you normally wouldn't have and also the great the great thing is about focusing on a specific topic, you know, and then get to taste what the benchmarks of those wines are in the world. As a new member of the Guild, it's a, first, firstly, it's a, it's a great honour. Um, I think it's anybody, any winemaker's dream to become a member of the Guild. The technical tastings and, and, and the quality of wines and the tastings that you're having is, is, is great. I've only been to a few of them and, and they, they already topped the, some of the best tastings I've ever been to in this country. Having wine in the auction is, from a winemaker's point of view, all the hard work, that special two or three barrels that you've bottled, to see it there and auctioned off, it's a great experience. And your name is the biggest part of the label printed on it, and um, you take the sole responsibility for that wine that goes on auction. The unique thing about this auction is that this is totally open for any member of the public or if you're from a company or if you're from a big group of buyers or so that can join this auction. It's not in, by invitation only. You come in the morning, it's on the 6th of October, you register and you put up your hand and you buy some wine. Nedbank really is delighted to once again partner with the Cape Winemakers Guild in what is now the 17th year of our very successful sponsorship. The CWG remains at the forefront of advancements in the wine industry and as a bank of choice for wine producers, we see this partnership as a means to contribute to the growth and sustainability of the sector and at the same time playing our part to ensure that South African wines continue to rank amongst the finest in the world. Nedbank's offering to the wine industry has been refined over a number of years and this ensures that as financial partners to the sector, we are able to provide value-adding support to our customers. The success of the Nedbank Cape Winemakers Guild Development Trust illustrates our desire to make a meaningful contribution to the communities in which we operate and to aid the transformation of the industry and South African society in general. The CWG Protégé Programme, which is actively transforming the industry by cultivating and nurturing winemakers from previously disadvantaged groups, is an example of the successful work done through the Trust. And I certainly am delighted to announce that our contribution has risen to just under 700,000 Rand for the year. And this will result in an additional three students receiving the opportunity to study for three years. I'd like to extend my congratulations to the Guild and its members on your 30th anniversary and to once again thank you for our partnership. Through the Project Programme is a rotation process where each winemaker in the Guild actually has an opportunity to mentor one of these projects. It will be quite hard and quite green herbaceous. The Programme content is a, a curriculum where the, these projects would actually make a wine for the Guild so we would like to see the protégés actually going out, selecting interesting vineyard sites, working from the, from the ground up and bringing the selection of, of fruit uh, specifically to the cellar. And then obviously the maturation process, what barrels they would like to use, how long are they going to spend in the barrel. There's all ways that we're looking how to actually influence the, the protégés and making them, helping them think as, as a winemaker. And then the final process obviously for bottle preparation. We would actually like to see these wines going on to the um, onto the auction, where the silent auction, where people could actually be on these wines and actually plough that money back into to the community which we work in every day. Probably not too many people realise that uh, the Guild is an absolutely unique organisation. I think in the, in the international world of wine, 
There is nothing um, quite like the Cape Winemakers Guild as an organisation. The, the Protégé programme is a, is a three-year programme and we as an individual member get to look after one of the protégés for a, for a 12 month period. To everyone that's supporting the Guild through all these years, I just want to show my gratitude and just want to say thank you for this amazing opportunity and to be able to say that um, you sat in on a tasting hearing by your speak or um, Aubrey at Kanungo or Carl Schultz. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for this opportunity and allowing me to learn from you and to be part of your cellar and yeah and trusting me with all the knowledge.